Hey guys, this is Tasha the Crafty Kraut. I am making some masks for healthcare providers, uh, local health care providers around here because of the um, COVID-19 outbreak. And what I'm doing is I'm making these little face masks right here. I have a couple made. I'm trying to do this as quick and as efficient as possible. So what I did is um, I printed out this template. This is a, for probably a, a women's medium, uh, adult women's mask. I'm sure it would fit men too. Um, and I'll make some, I'll make larger ones for men next. So what you want to do is you want to cut out four pieces of fabric. And what I've done is I've cut out two in the blue and then two in my pattern. So you need four pieces and then you need four pieces of ribbon. I have two pieces of 15 inch ribbon um, long, 15 inch long ribbon, and um, two that are about 17 inches. Um, and then what I am going to do is I am going to take you to the sewing machine and show you. Okay. So bear with me. All my sewing stuff, mess. Okay, so bear with me here and see if we can get a good angle. I should have brought a tripod, which I did not. So I need to try to figure out some kind of stand for my for this. Okay. I think that should work. Okay. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my material and I'm going to sew, I think I have enough in there. I am going to sew the, um, the rounded part. Okay. So you're going to take your, your, um, Sewing so machine, you're going to sew from here and down to here. And that's it for right now. Ah, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Come on. Sorry, I'm trying to get my thread not to jump out at me. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. Bear with me, sorry. Oh man, that was a pain. It's hard when. Come on, dude. Alright. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So, again, you're just gonna. our first piece and then when you take it apart it'll look like so okay I should have sewn a little higher so let me just hit that a little bit all right there we go what's up with my bob in here today so tight for some reason all right, so I'm just going to trim that up real quick. Okay, so I have that one. Now you're going to do the exact same one with your other two pieces of fabric. You're just going to sew together that outer circular part. Just bear with me. I'm trying to line it up here. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing here. I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Okay. Alright, let's start over. I don't know what just happened there. Alright. Weird. It was acting a little funny earlier, but. Okay. Oh, yeah, that 
weird. The bobbin's been sounding funny today, but anyways, all right. So then you have your two pieces of fabric here. Okay, so you have this one. Let's see if you can see. You have this one and this one. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put, how cute is that? Okay, so you're going to um, put the good sides, the, the correct sides together. So you're gonna put the good sides together. And you're gonna be sewing along. You're gonna turn this inside out. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you just wanna line it up, put these puppies together like so. Okay, that's, that's about good. And you can pin it if you want. I don't think I'm gonna pin it. I'm not gonna pin it. Okay, so here we have this. Some of these sides are off a little bit, but that's okay. All right, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ribbon, bear with me, and you're gonna, you're gonna use your shorter ribbon on the bottom and you're gonna use your longer ribbon on top. I'm gonna put my top ones over here. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're going to start off by, I'm gonna do it this way because I think. All right, so you got your bottom ribbon and you're just gonna lay it in between your fabric, okay? About there. Make sure you got it in there. And then just, of course, make sure that you, it's out of the way so when you sew around, it doesn't come. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the, on the lower, on the shorter side of the mask. And I'm going to, I'll show you. So, I'm gonna, so this is the ribbon and I go over the ribbon a few times just so it has a little more strength, okay? So you're gonna do that. Now make sure your ribbon is out of the way. I'm just gonna pull it out of the way. I don't think I caught that piece right there. It doesn't matter. I'll go back and get it. Okay. So my other bottom piece, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull it over to here and I'm just gonna lay it. I don't need it in right now, but let's get over there and then I'll show you. Okay, so over here you're gonna take your second bottom ribbon and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna lay it over here on the side. Just let it hang out a little bit so you know that you got it because earlier I did one and I didn't quite catch it. Okay, and again, I wanna go over that a few times because I wanna make sure that is nice and sturdy. Now we got our top ribbons and we're gonna do the exact same thing again. When we're on top, we're gonna to put those on the sides and then we're gonna sew over them. Go over them a few times. Okay. Make sure all your ribbon is out of the way. This one's a little tricky. This is the one usually I have a little issue with grabbing, but I'm gonna stick that in there. And then I'm just gonna leave it out a little bit so I know that I have plenty of it. And I think this is the last one I'm gonna make today because my back hurts. about I don't know, an inch or so down here. 
So all your ribbon are hanging out here, but right here I didn't catch this didn't catch. I didn't get both materials, so I'm just gonna go back over this one more time. Make sure I got it. Okay, perfect. All right, no problem. Trim off your edges. Okay, let me trim this real quick. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so you can see it's all sewn around. You don't even really have to do anything. So now what you want to do is you just want to gently pull your um, ribbon, and you can pull the ones from the other side, and then what will happen, let this other way. Oh, man, I'm not going to have enough thread to go around. It's okay. Usually I would leave a bigger opening, but since these are pretty small and I have the ribbon, they are actually pretty easy to pull through. So you want to be gentle. I mean, you don't want to just, you know, just pull it through like that. These are super cute. And I'm just using the material I have available at home right now because I'm listening to the recommendations of staying at home which I wish more people would do, but, you know, you know how it is. People don't listen. Okay, there we go. So now at this point, you can either sew it, I mean iron it, or you can just sew it. I, I'm just going to hit this little part, this little opening. I'm just going to fold it together, make sure it catches. And then I'm just going to hit this real quick with the sewing machine. Just so it doesn't open. And I don't even know if I have enough. Um, bobbin to do that with, but let's see. I have just enough. All right, perfect. So that little opening is closed. So now you have your cute little mask, right? Yeah. So now what you can do is you can iron it. I haven't been ironing them because, again, I'm just trying to get through these. So what I do is on the bottom half of the mask, I like to fold it up a little bit. So I don't know if you can see that. So it's just like this a little bit. And you can pin that. And then what that does is it just kind of helps really close, um, close the mask up a little snugger on, um, it helps the mask be a little bit snugger around your face. I mean, these are not a replacement for the mask. It's, this is just, you know, worst case scenario, if they don't have any masks, they can at least have something to protect themselves working. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I have to change out my bobbin because the stupid thing ran out. Okay, and I'm just going to use my regular, I'm just going to use a regular bobbin color. Bobbin sounds funny. Okay. Alrighty. These do not, as you can see, I mean, they don't take, you know, very long to make. Once you have, once you made one of them, it goes pretty quick. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the edge. You can, again, you can iron it if you want. Um, I am just going to go around and um, sew it. And I'm just going to pull the fabric as I go so it's um, nice. And I'm going to do about, I guess, about a fourth, about a fourth of an inch of seam allowance again. And you just want to make sure that you um, are not sewing your ribbon. So just make sure your ribbon is out of the way. Okay. Yes, I sew over my needles. Uh, that's the way I learned. Some people are like, you can't do that. I never hit my, my sewing needle never hits my pins, so. And I'm just kind of folding it over as I go.
move your threads. This needle is not going the right way, so I'm going to have to move that. But put it in the right way. All right. is done so it really doesn't take very long to do and now what you can do on the ends of the ri of the ribbon I just kind of just burn it a second just so um, they don't fray okay perfect all right so here is your mask and just trim it up and make sure you don't have any stuff hanging around. All right, perfect. All right, well, thanks for watching. And if you have a sewing machine, help out your community and sew some of these uh, masks. Thanks again.